Caddis Maximus here, this time with a quick review of the Sperry Volt Sensor. This is a non-contact pen type uh, inductive voltage detector. I was incorrect in some earlier videos. These are inductive. These don't work on uh, electrostatics or detecting specifically magnetic fields, but they do. They detect changing magnetic fields. Uh, that's why these only work on alternating current circuits. These types of devices do not work on direct current circuits, at least uh, from my understanding, and that's because they're relying on the changing magnetic field uh, to induce a small voltage, kind of like a transformer. This Sperry is a pretty cheap, and I actually picked this up for five bucks, and I just kind of liked its overall design because it had a nice squishy overmolds, uh, which I appreciated compared to a lot of the flukes and other models that are out there. It does have a audible beeper, which I do kind of like. Uh, there's a few situations where it's just easier and simpler to be able to hear it. It's a real simple device. You just have a little button that actually is surprisingly well protected, so you're not accidentally bumping it. It just does that. And let's turn off the light. It actually has a reasonably bright light, and I like the way it's set up because this whole ring actually ends up glowing. And we can see that it's pretty sensitive. So that would probably be the one comment that, that some people have is that it may be a little too sensitive. So there'll be situations where you have both uh, energized and non-energized wires, say uh, in an electrical box or some kind of panel, where one where that has high sensitivity may give you a little bit of a false, I wouldn't say a false reading, but it's going to be beeping all the time. and It's going to be more difficult to tell. So some slightly lower sensitivity models, such as some of the fluke pen types, may be better in the situation. I do like the higher sensitivity ones just because I know it's really going to pick up the voltage versus having to really make sure that you're right against the, uh, the wire. I also like this little sparer because one, the speaker is reasonably loud, but it also uses standard AAA batteries, actually just one battery in this case. It, it is designed pretty well. The screw for the battery cover is actually captured. So when you pull it off, you don't have to worry about the screw falling out. And it even has a little metal insert in there. There's our single uh, AAA battery. Uh, pretty much a no-name there. And well, not a whole lot else to it. I'm going to see if I... We do have a couple screws. Most of these types of pen-type uh, inductive voltage detectors are permanently glued together. This is one of the few that I've seen that actually even has screws to be able to attempt to disassemble it. So we'll see how successful I am with that. Uh, it's coming apart a little bit here. Let me spend just a second. We indeed just need the, I just need the pry just a lightly to get it apart here. We can see that these things are super simple. There's our little speaker. All the electronics are just on integrated onto this little circuit board here. And I kind of like showing that these things are real simple. I'm not so sure about all the circuits, but at least people can see kind of how they, there's the little LED, but there's the little wire that acts more like an antenna detecting that AC field. And so that's really what's inside here is just a, an all these little circuit board with just a little wire that goes up into the tip. And that would kind of be the end of this uh, simple review. These types of things I do recommend. I really kind of i am not fond of the Harbor Freight or the Ames one, although I may pick up an Ames one and review it at some point. Sperry's been around for a long time and has always made reasonably decent products, and I i don't think I've ever reviewed something. Maybe once I've reviewed something from Sperry. So that's why I did it this time. Anyway, a nice little unit. Pretty well built. And uh, surprisingly enough, they actually focus quite a bit on ergonomics. It's not particularly necessary on a little unit like this, but it's kind of nice to see. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.